take my day from FarmersOnly.com. Hey, I'm, I'm touring with the biggest party band on the on the road right now, Faster yeah. Pussycat. Still doing it like it's 86, man. My liver's more shriveled up than Betty White's taint at this point. I t and, t and give it up for Danny Tander who introduced me, the bass player from Faster Pussycat. Wasn't it so cute how he spit up the entire time he introduced me? <laughs> I'm not saying he does a lot of cocaine, but he sneezed the other day and Charlie Sheen flew out of his nose. <laughs> The inside of his nose is whiter than the gathering of the Juggalos. Watch for him on Intervention next month. <laughs> Isn't that a great show, Intervention? Don't we love that fucking show? Except when we're drinking, right? <laughs> then it's a total fucking buzzkill, right? Because they ain't got the alcoholic in the room and they're telling them all the shitty things they ever did in their life. And I'm sitting on my couch going, did it, did it, gonna do it, wanna do it, probably did and blacked out and forgot I did it. It's always drug addicts and alcoholics, right? Once in a while, they're throwing a bulimic for comic relief. You know what I mean? So you get a few laughs. I think they should do it for other addictions. There's other dangerous addictions out there. Chronic masturbation, right, sir? <laughs> I'd like to see that as part of intervention. Someone who's a chronic masturbator. You put them in the room, their whole family comes around, they're reading their letters. Uh, dear uh, King of Jacking Off, your masturbating has affected me negatively in the following ways. Um, I am afraid to wear socks. This, it gets worse, miss. I'm afraid to wear socks. Um, I, you spend your entire savings account on Kleenex and hand cream. The cat stuck to the carpet for the last three weeks. I like to masturbate. Anybody else? Yeah, right? Even the ladies we know. Thank you for being honest, ladies. I know, all those cucumbers aren't for salads, I understand. I masturbated so much in the shower when I was a kid, a baby crawled out of the drain eventually. I masturbated the other day into a dream catcher, as you guys call it, a sock. I got a million of them, folks. I could talk about masturbating all night long. I remember the first female band I ever got into. I didn't even know who they were. They were just so sexy on the front cover of their album. Took it home, didn't even listen to it. Masturbated for two weeks straight. Until I realized it was the first Poison album. You did that too? You're, you're what's known in Kansas City as a keeper right now. Yeah. No, and then I found out they were guys and I only masturbated to it once in a while after that, so. Now then your farts smell like Jergens. Oh, My farts smell like Jergens? Holy shit. I have no idea what that means, but I'm gonna consider this and think about it and process it. But I do, like, Lita Ford, I masturbated to every Lita Ford video, right? Well, not close your eyes forever, I didn't masturbate to that one. Because I didn't want to accidentally finish up on Ozzy, you know what I mean? Because they used to cut the videos so, like, quick in the 80s, right? And I'd be like, oh, shit. You know, I don't want to accidentally finish up on the Prince of Darkness. That's disrespectful, man. The one video that she looked so hot in for that song, uh, I always masturbated to, was for that song, I Remember You, that Lita Ford song. Oh, was that Sebastian Bach? Oh, well. Who cares? When you're 18, the best way to get laid is to like a band whose singer looks like an 18-year-old chick, right? It's like when uh, Zach Wilde joined Ozzy. Remember how beautiful Zach Wilde was? Yeah, he looked like a chick I took to the high school prom, right? Now he looks like a guy that would abduct a chick from the high school prom. Better now. Oh, you like him better? Yeah, he's staying. Look, he, I, I've seen his penis. Trust me, it's he's got a black label penis. I'm telling you. I guess I said penis, sir. No, I'm not gonna tease you, baby, but this is a real rock and roll tour. You got a dirty comedian, you got faster pussy guy, and you got a porn star at the merch pool. Yeah! This is a rock and roll I used to do porn, I just want you to know. I, in my former, that's how Eddie discovered me. He used to watch my movies. I, you might know my porn name, Girth Brooks. I was gonna go with Johnny Depp, but I'm more of a fucking beer can in a Pringles container, if you know what I mean. All right, that's enough about my penis. <laughs> But I love coming out here, man. I play down in Stanford's. I play all around this area, man. And I love hanging with you guys, man. We always party hard out here. And I appreciate it. Thank you, John. John opened up the bar to me, man. Thank you, brother. That man is not afraid to party, man. Absolutely. Cause, and I don't mind if you don't drink. If you don't drink, that's cool. I don't have a problem. Just don't preach to me, right? But I love these people come up and go, Oh, Don, I could have a good time sober. 
I can't. Right? Even the word sober is boring, right? Not one guy in here tonight was thinking, I can't wait to get down to the scene tonight and find the most sober chick in the crowd to finger bang in the bathroom during Faster Pussycats. And because I drink, I have sometimes had sex in the heavyweight division. Oh, hey, some people like to go to bed reading a good mystery. I like to wake up to one. Come on, you ever had one of those mornings? Come on, bro, you know what I'm talking about. You get up, you're like, where am I? What did I drink last night? Why am I laying next to Shrek right now? I was with a girl so big one time, we had sex, she queefed, and all the lights in my building went out. And I said, honey, boo-boo's mama, you gotta go home now. And in Jersey, where I live, we have a cool place to drink. We have a thing called the liquor store bar, right? And on one half, you can sit at the bar and drink. On the other half, you can buy package goods. It's half and half like Caitlyn Jenner, right? I love the liquor store bar because it's like the Waffle House of bars, right? The one in Jersey where I live, man, the hottest chick in the bar is the bartender, and she looked like Mrs. Dog the Bounty Hunter. But not as sexy or slim. And the guy sitting next to me at the bar was reading a Hustler magazine, and he had his shirt off. Well, he wasn't reading it because he was jacking off, but he had a hustler. I'm drinking beers, I'm drinking shots of Jaeger. Any Jaeger drinkers in the house? Jaegermeister? Good shit, right? But I found out the hard way, Jaegermeister is German, for I hope you have nothing to do before noon tomorrow. So I'm too drunk to drive home. I go, hey, Mrs. Doggy Bounty Hunter, could you call me a cab? She says back to me, could you grow me some balls? Yeah, she called me out for being a fucking lightweight, right? And I started thinking about that expression, grow some balls, right? What does that mean? Oh, grow some balls, that means you're tough, right? Oh, grow a pair, dude, that means you're a tough guy, right? You're a pretty big guy. Anything tough about your testicles, be honest. <laughs> Nothing, right? They all come the same way, right? They're all sensitive and weak, like a Michael Bolton album. That's the only way they come. If someone even brushes up against my balls, I'm crying like Whitney Houston when a crack pipe went out. <laughs> You want to be tough, Betty White said, the best ladies grow a vagina, right? Those things take a fucking beating, don't they? Cocks and fingers dive bombing from every angle, like D-Day at Pearl Harbor. Firebird is buzzing across the top like a weed eater in the summertime. No wonder you bleed five days out of the month. And you ever see a vagina during childbirth? Holy shit, it looks like a yawning hippo, doesn't it? It looks like an anaconda trying to swallow an antelope in the jungle, right? Your mouth opens up real big, your jawbone gets disconnected, your head's been round and around like Linda Blair in The Exorcist. But then what happens? The, the kid comes out and the vagina is magical. Two hours later, the vagina pops back into place. It's the magical, right? Guys, there's nothing magical about our jump. After 40, holy shit, the balls, they go fucking south for the winter, the spring, the summer, and every other fucking season, right? How old are you, dude? 41. 41, you look like shit. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Hey, I'm 49, bro, and you know you're in the same boat as I am. My balls, it looks like Tom Brady came in and deflated my balls. Right? <laughs> My balls look like just bungee jumped off the end of my penis. And let's be honest, ladies, is a penis really attractive? Be honest. No, right? No penis is attractive, right? No. No, they're not. They're all oddly shaped and veiny. They all look like Larry King, every penis. Some are, all right, bring them up here. I want to see them. I'm going to inspect them. Come on. Bring him up here. I'm going to pinch his helmet. But I've got a nice hand for faster pussycat coming back to Kansas City. Oh,